Well, that's just the thing. She was dead, and this um, 1099 is for 2020. For Betty Pope of West Branch, losing her husband was hard enough, but now he's at the center of an issue with the Unemployment Insurance Agency. Recently, she got a notice stating that her husband, Michael Pope, needed to pay back thousands of dollars to the UIA. The main problem is... My husband passed away in September of 2014. According to Pope, it's impossible for her husband to have collected benefits not only because he's passed away, but because he was on disability for over 20 years before he died. So she questions how would he have been collecting money for a job he never had. He's been disabled since he was 38 years old. So... I thought, no, oh, it's just a mix-up, and I, you know, didn't think anything more of it. Pope was so sure it was a mistake. When she initially got the letter, she threw it away. But now the UIA is taking it a step further. Now they're sending her a 1099 form for the year 2020 to make her pay taxes on the money she says she never got. And I was getting ready to file income tax, so you know how you go through everything to make sure you have it all. And there was a 1099 stating that he had received $5,640 from the Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity. When she calls the UIA... It's just all prompt to, and there's nothing to, there's no prompt to push to report it. And of course, I did reach out to the UIA today about this case, but we have not heard back. But in recent exchanges with Linda Robinson from the UIA, she tells us letters sent out noting that someone had an overpayment on their account is likely to be just that and not a mistake. And if someone disagrees with an outcome of a claim, Robinson says they can easily protest it online. But Pope doesn't have an account, so it's been tough for her to do this. To add insult to injury, she says she's now grieving her husband all over again. Frustrated. Not only that, but it brings, for my children and me, it's bringing up all those emotions all over again of 2014. In West Branch, Rachel McCrary, WNAM, TV5.